11 inch macbook air a1370 and a1465 years 2010 through 2015 microphone replacement make sure that the mac is completely powered off close the lid and flip it over we're going to need a proprietary apple's star shaped pentalope screwdriver bit Start in the top left and remove the short screw. The next two screws are slightly longer. Keep an eye on that. And then the remaining seven screws are all short. With the screws removed, we can go ahead and just pop the back panel right up. Before we do any work, let's go ahead and disconnect that battery. Pry underneath it with your fingernail or a plastic tool and just pop it out of the way like so. The battery is connected with five T5 screws on each corner and one in the center. Go ahead and remove the five screws. You'll notice that the top left and right corner are slightly longer and so is the middle. Go ahead and lift up and remove the battery. Lift up the I.O. data cable and pry up the speaker connection. We'll need this disconnected. Once the speaker is disconnected, you can use a plastic tool to go underneath the speaker and pry out the glue that's on the bottom and just pop it out. We'll now need to disconnect the microphone. It has a little eyelash. So you want to take a plastic tool and pop the eyelash up. And now you can work out the connection. Don't be afraid to disconnect the I.O. cable and just get it out of the way so you can get it exposed. Now that it's disconnected, you can place back the I.O. cable. And now you can just pry out the microphone that's glued into the side of the Mac. Reassembly. Using some double-sided tape or residual glue, place the microphone back and align it with the little dots so that the sound can come through it. Once you have it aligned, go ahead and run that cable down and then plug it in and make sure to flip down that eyelash. Now go ahead, place back the speaker over the top. Also, use double tape on the speaker if you need it. Go ahead and plug the speaker back to the logic board. Place the battery back and align it. Go ahead and secure the top right and the top left corners with the longer screws. Then the shorter screws on the bottom right and the bottom left and then the longer screw in the middle. Reconnect the battery to the logic board. Make sure it's nice and firm and clicked in. We can now place back the cover, align it, and give it a nice firm push. Put back the two longer screws in the middle top first, and now secure the rest of the eight shorter screws. Thank you for watching. Help support this channel by subscribing.